Please welcome Corbin Mayor Susie Rasmus. Hello, everyone. So glad to see everybody here today. As they said, I'm Susie Rasmus. I'm the mayor of the city of Corbin. Welcome, SOAR attendees. We are so happy to welcome you here to the city. We're happy to have you here to help us celebrate each other's successes and also challenge each other to even greater heights. What brings us together is the love of our mountains, the love of our cities and counties throughout Eastern Kentucky and Appalachia, where we are all rooted, where we refuse to leave to find better opportunities, and instead we create for ourselves the brighter tomorrow that we are all capable of achieving. I'm so encouraged to see the crowd here that has this common goal to see our region soar. Today it is my distinct honor to introduce to you the Senate President, my Senator, Robert Stivers. Robert has been a tireless advocate for our region and I'm honored to call him friend and I'm blessed to have him work for us in Frankfurt. Come on, Robert, take it away. <laughs> See, I was nice. <laughs> Thank you, Mayor. Um, welcome to the best Senate district in the state of Kentucky, the 25th Senatorial District, which is mine. I don't care what Brandon Storm, Brandon Smith, Johnny Turner, or Philip Wheeler say. But it is great to have everyone here. It is great to see the progress that is taking place. And it is always a pleasure to work with Susie uh, here in the city of Corbin. But I want to, just a few minutes, uh, talk about what SOAR has meant to the region. You just heard a group of people talk about the problems of substance use disorder. And it's great to hear how, one, we identify a problem and come up with a solution. And make no doubt when I say this, I'm not talking about individuals who are profiteering off of pushing and selling drugs. They need to be treated totally different. But as you heard Tim Robinson in the group, those individuals who had a bad break, something's gone wrong that could be a viable productive citizen, give them the hope, give them the opportunity, give them the, the skills and the training to where they can come back and be for us a viable, productive citizen. I'm going to talk about just one other kind of dark spot that has kind of come about. A couple years ago, um, Ron Krauts, the state demographer from the University of Louisville, projected that over the next 20 years, Eastern Kentucky would have a population loss of everything east of I-75 between 10 to 45 percent. I think that's a wake-up call, a wake-up call to everybody here. It is something that Congressman Rogers and the then Governor Steve Bashir talked about informing SOAR of how we could come together for in a regional basis to solve these issues and problems. And so what you see is something like Unite forming this collaborative on dealing with the opioid and substance use disorder problems. And so now you're starting to see the cooperation throughout the district about how we deal with that issue, how we recruit people. Another byproduct of this is all the investment in the internet, last mile connectivity, that is really one of our biggest hopes, which you'll hear later on today how a group of people have been working on attracting that group of workers who are remote that don't have to live anywhere. I have two children in my family that do not work where they live. One lives in Northern Kentucky that works in New York, has yet to set foot in New York. I have one that lives in Frankfort, Kentucky that works in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This group, this impetus of the SOAR conference, the people coming together to fill out each other about what solutions are, is what this has been about. And you've seen the judge in Harlan County, the judge in Perry County, the judge in Knox County and Whitley County come together and have regional ideas about what we can do for attracting jobs, attracting people, keeping the populations here that we want to keep here and attract people to come and stay here because we have some of the greatest assets 
in and around eastern Kentucky that anybody could want to have. And I say this without any reservation, you know, we need to project ourselves not only to the United States, but we need to invite our friends from the western part of the state, from Louisville, from northern Kentucky, because many of them don't know the assets and attributes we have. And I can give you an example. Some people in this room will know a gentleman by the name of Steve Poe, who's been a very successful developer of hotels in Louisville that has hotels all over the United States, came down after an invitation from some of us and spent his weekend Memorial Day renting a houseboat on Laurel Lake that he had never done, didn't really know existed, getting two jet skis and having a great weekend. And now that's become one of his destination sites for a weekend vacation right here in our own state that people in Louisville, population 700,000, a great target and a base, had no knowledge of our assets and resources. So with the group that eventually sought up SOAR, you know, when you get up and read in the New York Times that your hometown, Manchester, is one of the worst places to grow up in and live in, that was an article, you had to start thinking differently. So we have. We have. And so we're starting to see this collective, this collaborative, this cooperation about creating jobs, promoting ourselves, tourism, creating the infrastructure, dealing with our problems, and changing the narrative for Eastern Kentucky for the better of everyone in Eastern Kentucky. And I'll finish with one last thing. You know, we have an upcoming session. The governor was talking about some things, and I heard him talk about the Mountain Parkway. Infrastructure is a critical tool to being able to attract people here. Let me guarantee you one thing, and in 27 years, I have rarely guaranteed anything. This year, as the budget comes out and the transportation cabinet, we'll not only talk about the Mountain Parkway, we'll talk about four-laning the Hal Rogers Parkway from London to Hazard. This is what SOAR has brought and the collective and cooperative nature that has been brought to the table, looking at our resources, thinking about our infrastructure, advertising the economic development opportunities. So as anybody who is from not this area leaves, if you want to spend time on a lake, we've got great ones here. If you want to go fishing for muskie, we've got some great streams with muskie and smallmouth. If you want to go ATVing and four-wheeling, we've got all the opportunities. So it is great that SOAR is here in Corbin again, the best Senate in district in the state, and welcome to all you all for coming back from two years ago. Thank you all.